If you lose control of your aircraft, we recommend using the return to home function. Before doing so, make sure to check the preset RTH altitude. The RTH altitude should be set higher than all buildings or obstacles in the area and on the RTH route. Be aware of the battery gauge in the camera interface. The red section indicates severe low battery. The yellow section indicates low battery. The H point indicates the lowest battery level required for RTH. When the battery gauge reaches the red section, please land the aircraft as soon as possible. Position the antennas of the remote controller parallel to the aircraft during flight to ensure good remote control signal quality. Do not perform the combination stick command to stop the electric motors during flight unless it's absolutely necessary. We recommend keeping your flight and camera lens directions consistent to avoid crashing caused by perspective disorientation. If you're flying quickly, the aircraft might crash because of inertial drift. It's best to keep a safe distance from obstacles at all times and pull the control stick backwards to avoid obstacles when necessary. If you lose sight of your aircraft for any reason, fly slowly, stay above all buildings or obstacles in the area and on the RTH route. Losing image transmission may cause accidents if your aircraft is too far away. Therefore, we recommend to keep your aircraft in your line of sight. Be aware that flying at low altitudes above water may affect the aircraft's ultrasonic and barometric height measuring functions, and the aircraft may fall into the water. The battery should be fully charged while flying at high altitudes or in low temperature conditions. Please preheat the aircraft battery to above 20 degrees Celsius before flying in the cold. If you're flying aggressively and fully pushing the sticks in the environments above, you may damage the aircraft. Please remember to fly safely while enjoying the fun of capturing beautiful scenery. See you next time!